Guys, this is Rascal Star 1130. Um, I'm back with some more NFL videos. Sorry, I didn't make any videos Thursday, um, Friday or Saturday. I was just really busy this weekend, late week. So sorry about that. Um, but anyways, um, go check out my videos. Um, this channel has been doing really great lately. I've been making a lot of videos. Um, so anyways, let's get started with today's video. I know it's a little late, but the Thursday night football reaction was between the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So let's get started. So Thursday night, the Buccaneers and Panthers played on Thursday night football. I think it was an easy win. Well, no, no win in the NFL is easy. Any, any given Sunday, in this case, any given Thursday, or any day at all. Thursday, Sunday, or Monday. Any team can win in the NFL. But this was like, I was like an 85% chance sure that the Carolina Panthers are going to win. And they didn't. The Buccaneers beat the Panthers 20-14. to 14. Now, if you guys have known me for a long time, you might know this, you might not know this. I am not a Jimmy Swinson fan. I don't like him. I think the Buccaneers need to get a new quarterback. If he can't figure this out, then he's, do he's done. He's not going to get a new contract. He's done in Tampa Bay. He's borderline starter. He's way too inconsistent. One game, he's like, wow, oh, my God, how would do that? One game, he's like, how is he even in the NFL? How is he even on the field? And overall, I just don't like James Winston. I, I, don't, I don't think he's talented. I, he had half talent. I just I think he's very raw still, even though he was a number one pick in 2015. I just don't like him. And Cam Newton, on the other side, Cam Newton is overrated, in my opinion. People say, oh, he's great. He's overrated. Last two years, he's not been good. Last year, the Panthers... Started six and one. They looked like a Super Bowl favorite. They looked like the league's best team. But they were the NFL's best team, and the well, no, they weren't. The Rams started eight and zero, but they were one of the NFL's best teams, one of the best teams in football. And then Cam Newton hurt his shoulder, and he wasn't one hundred percent, and he missed those last three or four games of the season, or last four or five games of the season. So it just it just all went downhill. Um, the Panthers are not consistent enough. Um, so I guess we'll start with the Panthers side of things. Anyways, what I'm talking about, like I said, Cam Newton is very overrated in my opinion. People talk about him way too much. He gets injured like every single year. And then Greg Olson, the tight end, he's old. I think he needs to retire. I think he's done in the NFL. He, you almost, I, I know it's bad to say this. I know it's like harsh to say this, but you almost expect him to get injured. That's weird to say that, but you almost expect him to get injured because he's always getting injured with his foot or collarbone every single year, so... And ankle, so he gets a lot of injuries. And the Panthers defense, the actually um, the Panthers, the Panthers pass rush was okay. I it did a little better than I thought. Brian Burns showed out. He had like one and a half sacks. He had like two tackles, and then he almost got a fumble. Not a fumble recovery, but one and a half sacks and two tackles. Brian Burns is gonna be really good, I think. Um. Here. Brian Burns is going to be really good, I think. Um, the, the Panthers' pass rush at times was okay, and at times it was just terrible. I mean, it it did what I expected. I'm going to say it was what I expected. Um, and for the Panthers' offensive line, the Panthers' offensive line did not play good at all. They re-signed Darrell Williams, but he gets injured constantly. The Panthers' offensive line was terrible. Um the whole game, they couldn't protect Cam Newton. Christian McCaffrey went off as usual because it's Christian McCaffrey. And the Panthers, they don't have much wide receiver help. I mean, they have DJ Moore and Curtis Samuel, and that's about it because they lost Devin Funches to the Indianapolis Colts in free agency in March. In 2019, NFL free agency in March. Um, So they have DJ Moore and Curtis Samuel as their top two targets, and that's it. And then the, I guess Greg Olson at times. Greg Olson played really well in this game. He was physical. He was a vertical threat. He went deep sometimes. He was very good in this game, but I think it's time for him to retire. He was going to be an ESPN reporter, but then he came back into the league out of retirement, just like Jason Witten was an ESPN reporter for a year, and then he came back to the league this year. Um, But, yeah, for the Panthers, offensive line was pretty terrible. Pass rush was okay. It was what I expected. Cam Newton's overrated. Cam Newton's actually is bad. It's just not that great. Um, I don't like Cam. I like Cam Newton, but he's slowly declining, in my opinion. Um, the but the Panthers secondary was just. I'm not, I'm not going to say awful because they had decent coverage at times. They made some plays when they had to. But it was their secondary was pretty bad. It was what I expected as well because the Panthers don't have much secondary help. They, at corner, they have Dante Jackson, and he's only a second-year player. There's no established veterans there. 
they're, if there's, they're not very good at this point in their careers. And um, Dante Jackson is their top corner, and he's only a second-year player, so you can't expect them to be the best player on that defense there. Um, so, yeah, those are my thoughts on the Carolina Panthers. Now, on to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers side of things. The, the Buccaneers... Uh, okay, their offense will perform better than I thought. Even though I hate James Winston, not hate, but even though I highly dislike James Winston, and I think James Winston's bad. He's a, I think James Winston's overrated as well. Um, a lot of people don't like James Winston. I'm one of those people because I just think he's he can't really he's too inconsistent. He can't really do much. But he played okay this game. He played okay. It's not like it's not like he had some banner game, but he he played okay. And oh, another thing. Okay, yeah, I'll get to that in a minute, but he played he played decent. Like he played a little better than I thought, which was good. That he helped them get to win get the win. The um the Buccaneers offensive line, I was impressed by the Buccaneers offensive line. I thought it would be like middle of the pack in the NFL, but it, it was like top fifteen in that game because they held up pretty well. They protected Jameis pretty well. And Ronald Jones he kinda had kind of a coming out party of the running back there. They split carries between Ronald Jones and Peyton Barber, which I think is stupid. Peyton Barber is terrible. He shouldn't even be a starter. They should just go with Ronald Jones from USC, who they drafted last year, because he's the future. In his rookie year, he was bad. He was terrible in his rookie year. Apparently, he couldn't understand the playbook under Dirk Cutter. And, um... Yeah, um, but the Buccaneers, they got a new coach in Bruce Aarons. Ronald Jones seemed to understand the playbook, have more of a grasp on it. Um, yeah, he he seemed to, um, you know, get going a little. Peyton Barber, they should just, I don't say cut him, but they should give him only like five to ten carries a game because he's so bad. And Ronald Jones should get like t um, 20 to 25 carries a game. They just should just go over to Ronald Jones. Um, so, yeah, that's the offense. Um. For the defense, the Buccaneers defense played way better than I thought. Shaquille Barrett stood out. Shaquille Barrett, not many of you guys know this guy. I've been looking out for this guy recently. Shaquille Barrett had three sacks, not one, not two, three sacks in this game on Cam Newton. That Because the Panthers' offense line was terrible, like I said. He had three sacks. And it wasn't only Shaquille Barrett. A couple other guys were getting in there, too. I forgot their names, but the Panthers... Um, I mean, sorry, the Buc the Buccaneers passers was very good. It was way better than I expected. Um, the Buccaneers secondary um, played better than I thought. The Buccaneers secondary is rough. Both these secondaries were rough coming into the season. The Buccaneers secondary was pretty good because the Buccaneers only gave up um, field goals. The Buccaneers secondary never, never gave up touchdowns. The Panthers never scored a touchdown, and that's why I think Cam Newton is overrated. Um, the but but anyways, for summary, the Buccaneers offensive line was pretty good, better than I expected. Um, Jameis Winston was a little better than I expected. Still don't like him. Um, the Buccaneers pass rush was very good, way better than I expected, and the Buccaneers secondary was uh, um better than I expected even though it's still beat up and rough, but better than I expected because they didn't give up any touchdowns. They only gave up field goals to the Carolina Panthers. Um, anyways, guys, those are my thoughts on the Buccaneers Panthers Thursday night football game. Um, check out my videos coming today. There's two more coming this morning before the Bills game. Oh, by the way, it's game day. I can't wait. Um, I'm not going to make a separate video because I'm not. But, um, I'm just going to say now it's game day. Um, Lamar Jackson, I think, will have a day again because the Cardinals' defense is bad. But that has nothing to relate to this. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Bye.